India's third most populous city is facing the worst portable water crisis in its nearly 500-year history. Bengaluru city officials have identified a total of 257 areas across four zones in the city that have been majorly bearing the brunt of the water crisis. Over 30 localities under the Brahat Bengaluru Mahanagara Palike or BBMP are already receiving water on a rotational basis every alternate day and the situation might get worse as the next monsoon is still 100 days away. Before we answer the question of how Bengaluru got itself here, we need to first understand where the city gets its water from. Despite being the city of lakes, Bengaluru's lakes have been constantly neglected or covered up for developmental projects. The city, up until 1961, had 262 lakes and the last count taken by the city's environmentalist indicates that there are around 80 left. The BBMP and the Bangalore Development Authority have been held responsible for levelling over 100 lakes directly and indirectly. Figures from the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board show nearly 90% of Bengaluru's lakes are on the verge of extinction. The dissolved oxygen content in their water has gone below the desired level of 4 mg per litre due to organic pollution, an official of the KSPCB told Down to Earth on the condition of anonymity. Despite having adequate natural resources, Today, Bengaluru depends on the augmented water source at the Krishna Rajasagara Reservoir in Sri Rangapatna for its growing water needs. However, due to a lax southwestern monsoon in 2023, the Kaveri catchment area did not get enough rain and consequently, the KRS Reservoir got only 75% of its usual inflow. This has also led to the challenge of diminishing open wells and the proliferation of over 4 lakh private bore wells. In light of the recent water crisis, the Bengaluru Water Supply and Sewerage Board announced a significant decision to reduce water supply by 20% to major consumers in Karnataka's capital on March 12, 2024. These include companies, hospitals, railways and airports. The worsening water crisis in Bengaluru is driving many of the approximately 14 million residents of Bengaluru to explore various alternative solutions, including relocation. But the fact is, Bengaluru is just another city that is being shown the mirror. The dreams of a perfect water supply driven by high-cost engineering solutions are being shattered. Just like Bengaluru, Cape Town destroyed all its water bodies and wetlands in the pursuit of serving the global real estate boom since 1990. In less than 25 years, the city is now totally dependent on a river hundreds of kilometres away through an augmented water supply system. Due to the drought situation prevailing year after year, even the river and the reservoirs are holding less water. Water crisis is also gripping other parts of the country. This year, the state of Telangana is experiencing severe power and drinking water shortages. In Chennai, 11 million inhabitants are experiencing a combination of flood followed by drought and water shortage. This is the real crisis of a water planning. The inability to understand the need and the opportunity for change. The fact is, Bengaluru receives enough rain. It has lakes that can harvest this rain and recharge groundwater. So that in times of extreme rain events, its rich and powerful denizens do not have to swim to avoid drowning in the flood. This is Bengaluru's story today and your city's story tomorrow.